Hey guys, welcome back to The Curly Reader. My name's Amanda, and today I want to share with you a book haul. So during the month of April, all of my local libraries were supposed to be having their annual or semi-annual book sales, library book sales, and I was super, super excited for all of them. And then they all got canceled because the world decided to go kaput. So I was feeling a little down and then a book outlet came around and decided they were going to have a sale. So I bought a bunch of books. So I have a box full of books from book outlet here. And then I also have bought a number of things from Amazon and before the shutdown or the quarantine or whatever you want to call it. Um, I had also gone to half price books. Um, my husband and I went out on a date night and we went to half price books and I put, picked up a couple of things. And then the following week, half price books was having a big sale and I had a 40% off coupon. So I went in and bought a couple more things. So I figured I would just show you all the things that I've gotten so far. Um, this is kind of mostly things that I bought in March and then a couple of things at the beginning of April. Um, so let's start with what I got from Amazon. Um, a couple of things I got from Amazon. First of all, um, since we've been stuck at home, I have realized that my youngest daughter who's in kindergarten needed some like really early reader things that she could read while she was home. Um, with them not being at school right now, I didn't really want her reading just off of a computer. I want her to have like books to read. And we have a ton of middle grade and like early chapter books, but we didn't have a whole lot of books that are for a very beginning reader, like sounding out the words reader. So I wanted to pick up a couple of books. We had gotten from the library a book by Mac Barnett and Greg Pizzoli. Um, and so I picked up a couple more of the same series. The one we got from the library was Jack Blasts Off. Um, but these are Jack. They're all about Jack, who is either a dog or a rabbit. Or a rabbit, it looks like. Um, but So I picked up Jack at Bat, and I also picked up Jack Goes West. Um, she has been doing great with these. They are set up kind of like chapter books. Um, so like this one is chapter two, and then the chapters are just a few pages long. And so it's been working really well. We read a chapter every day. She reads to me, and she's enjoying them, and it's just been a great way to keep encouraging encouraging her to read. So I did go ahead and I bought those full price. So, or Amazon price, I should say. I don't know if that's actually full price. Um, a middle grade book that I picked up from Amazon because I just felt the itch and felt like I needed to have it is A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. This is one that I had heard so many people talking about. I honestly have no clue what it's about. On the front, it says Three Sisters, A Family Curse, and A Pinch of Magic. No idea what it's about at all. But I've heard multiple people say that this book is fabulous. So I picked it up. That's middle grade. Um, another middle grade book that I picked up, I picked up for my older two girls. This is a book that we previously owned and then somebody left it outside in the rain. So that was fun. Um, but I felt like I really wanted to buy it for them again. And it's a graphic novel. It's called Human Body Theater. And this is one that nobody ever talks about. I've never, ever heard anybody talk about this before. Um, but it, it's by Maris Wicks. And it's a nonfiction review. Um, and it's all like the human body, but in a theater. And so it's like a stage production. And it goes through all the different you know, parts of the body, different systems of the body, what everything does and everything's animated. It's all really, really super cute. And my kids love this book. It is super, super informative. It talks about different kinds of fractures from your bones. It talks about the reproductive system. It talks about puberty um, in a way that is just very scientific. And there's no, like, it doesn't talk about sex or anything like that but it just talks about what changes your body goes through in a very, very scientific way. And I read through it and I'm like, yes, you guys all read this and then come to me if you have questions sort of thing. And they love it. It has, you know, like I said, every part of the human anatomy from eyeballs to ears to, you know, your nervous system, all of it. It's so well done. It is so much fun. Um, and it, they just do a fantastic, fantastic job with it. Um, and it's just, anyway, I love it. My kids love it. I wanted to repurchase it. So I did. 
Um, anyway, the next one that I got from Amazon is an adult book, and I got Risen Motherhood. This is by Emily Jensen and Laura Whiffler, and the these two women have a podcast called Risen Motherhood that I've listened to on and off for a few years now, and then I saw, um, oh my goodness, I'm having a total like brain fart. Um, Happily Ever Esh is channel. She mentioned this book that she was wanting to read it this spring and I just felt like I needed to own it. So I purchased it and it is all about Christian motherhood. It's gospel hope for everyday moments. And I feel like right now I need some of that in my life, honestly. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I'm planning on reading this with a friend and discussing it. I think after like each section, there's questions that you can talk about and discussion questions. And it just sounds fantastic. So I grabbed that. Those are the books that I got from Amazon. Now on to the books that I got from Half Price Books. Um, whenever I go into Half Price Books, I typically go straight to the clearance section because... That's just who I am as a person. So most of these are, are from the clearance. Actually, almost all of these are from the clearance section. Um, and all but two of them are middle grade. <laughs> Who's surprised? Um, the first one I got is Sophia's War by Avi. Um, this is an historical fiction. Centers around the um, Revolutionary War. Sorry. Um, the Revolutionary War. And someone, Sophia, I'm guessing, who kind of get sucked into like a mission that she needs to do accomplish something along those lines. So that one looked fun. That one was on clearance. Another one that was on clearance is Bo at Ballard Creek by Kirkpatrick Hill. Um, and this one I have seen at my library multiple times and I've always like thought about checking it out, but I never did. And yeah, it was on clearance for a dollar. So I went ahead and grabbed it and it's about Eskimos. So I don't really know other than that. Some of these books, you'll realize I don't really know what they're about. But, you know, whatever. That's half the fun. The next one I got is How High the Moon by Karen Parsons. This one was on clearance for $2. Um, but it's a nice hardback. It's in really, really great condition. Um, and it's Blurred by Jacqueline Woodson. And it is about, it's in, set in the Jim Crow South. And it is about this girl whose mother, I think, lives in New York. And she wants to go and kind of meet back up with her mother, who's a magician. Or not a magician, a musician, I think. Um, but I just loved, I thought that cover was just so pretty. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Um, another one I got is um, Heart of a Samurai by Margie Proust. And... I really don't know. It's set in 1841, and I know it has to do with a Japanese boy, and he wants to be a samurai, but I don't really know much else about it. It was kind of another cover by. It's in really, really great condition. It's a Newbery Honor book, um, but it looked intriguing, so I nabbed that one. Um, a YA book that I picked up, this is what I got with my 40% off coupon, is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. This is one that... I, it was on one of my growing TBR lists. I think it was on Haley, um, from Haley and Bookland. I think it was on her, like, most anticipated releases of the year. And this cover, you guys, I just cannot with this cover. It is so pretty. But it is about Mozart's sister, but it's a fantasy book. So it's all about Mozart's sister, who is also a musician, but she can't be because, like, professionally because she's a woman. So eventually she's going to have to get married and have babies and whatnot. And she doesn't really want to do that. So I don't, I don't know. But this cover, oh, I just could not pass that up. So that was what I got with my coupon. And then the last book that I got at um, Half, Price, Half Price Books, I, my brain is all over the place today, is The Dream Daughter by, Day, by Diane Chamberlain. And I had heard amazing, amazing things about this book. Um, and I have read Necessary Lies by Diane Chamberlain and loved it. And so I went ahead and grabbed this one. And I think um, Krista from Books and Jams, her group read or whatever, her Goodreads like read along group um, for next month, I think is The Dream Daughter. So maybe I'll read this with her for that. But I went ahead and grabbed that. All right. Now we are on to my book outlet haul. So everything in this box is middle grade. I made this purchase during middle grade March and 
you guys. You guys know I love middle grade and I'm a sucker for middle grade. One, it's usually cheaper to buy the books because they're kids' books. And two, they're just really good and they're fast reads and they're lighthearted most of the time and I just love them. So first I picked up three more books for my early reader child. Um, so I got Hot Dog by Molly Cox. I got um, Poof a Bot by David Milgram. And I got Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana by James Dean. Um, these are all just early, like I said, early reader books for my kindergartner because I was looking for books that she could read. And then we are into the box. So the first three books, middle grade books, that I'm going to share with you are A Boy Called Christmas, The Girl Who Saved Christmas, sorry about that glare, guys, and um, the Father Christmas and Me. These are all by Matt Haig. These are all a series. And I read the first two books of the series um, in December of this past year and loved them so much. I wanted to own them immediately so that my kids could read them or I could read them with my kids this year. And all three of them were on Book Outlet. So I nabbed those suckers up real quick. Um, and they're all in hardback too. All right, and then I'm just going to kind of start digging into this box. Some of these were cover buys, so I don't really know a lot about them. And this one is one of those. This is called Echo's Sister by Paul Mosier. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that name. And I believe this is about a girl whose sister is diagnosed with cancer and she's dying. And it's just about that. Um, that's really all I know. Um, but it's, you know, whatever looked good. I'm always a sucker for heartbreaking middle grade books. Um, the next one that I grabbed is Lauren Woke's Beyond the Bright Sea. I have a Wolf Hollow by Lauren Woke on my TBR. I still have not read it. I need to read it like really, really soon. But I've heard that this one is really good too. And look at that, like the little feather. And oh, I love these covers of hers are amazing. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and grabbed that one. And I honestly have no clue no clue at all what this is about. Not even a little bit. Um, another one I grabbed is Jefferson's Sons by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. That name always trips me up. Um, but this is about Thomas, I think it's Thomas Jefferson's, yeah, Thomas Jefferson's children by one of his slaves. So Beverly, Harriet, Madison, and Eston are Thomas Jefferson's children by one of his slaves. Um, and so it's about them. Um, but that sounded interesting. And Kel Kimberly Brubaker Bradley wrote The War That Saved My Life, which is an amazing, amazing middle grade book. So grab that one. Um, this next one is Three Times Lucky by Sheila Turnage. This is one that I forgot I ordered until the box came. Um, but it's a mystery. And when I was researching mysteries to read this past year during um, middle grade March, this one kept coming up over and over and over again. I really have no idea what it's about. It's a Newbery Honor book. Um, I don't know. Grabbed it, though. All right, next we have um, Ruby on the Outside by Nora Raleigh Baskin. This is about a girl whose mom is in prison. Um, and that's really all I know. Um, but this cover, you guys, how cute is that cover? It's, like, super, super short. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, I don't really know much else about it. I just know that that little that little snippet of it. All right, another one I got is Some Kind of Happiness by Claire Legrand. Um, I think I've heard somebody talk about this, and I don't remember who now. But I don't really know what it's about. Uh, she, It's about a girl, it looks like, that her parents are having problems, and she retreats to the woods um, to kind of find solace have no idea. Um, the next one, Roll of, Hun Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry by Mildred D. Taylor. This is a Newbery medal winner that I have not read yet, and I've heard amazing, amazing things about it, but have never read it, and I need to, and I didn't own it, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed a classic. I grabbed Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I actually did read this in seventh grade. It was like an assigned in-class reading assignment, and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and grab it and maybe try to read it as an adult, and I think this cover is really fun. Um, but, yeah, that is about pirates, in case you don't know what um, Treasure Island is about. 
All right, um, the next ones that I got, I got um, Ashes and Forge by Lori Hulse Anderson. These are books two and three. I don't know which one's two and which one's three. Um, I think maybe Ashes is book two and Forge is book three. But the first book is Chains, and I already own it. It's on my bookshelf downstairs. Um, and so I've heard somebody talk about these and just say that they are amazing and you have to have to read them. I think it's set during slavery. I honestly have no idea. I'm just assuming that based on off of the covers. Um, but yeah, so I'd already owned Chains. So I went ahead and grabbed Ashes and Forge because I didn't own those ones yet. Um, another one that I picked up is a graphic novel, and that is Cosmic Commandos by Christopher Eliopoulos. Um, Christopher Eliopoulos is the illustrator for the um, Ordinary People Can Change the World series. It's a um, series of children's picture books by Brad Meltzer. Um, they're illustrated by Christopher Eliopoulos, um, and they are all like nonfiction books about people and they are amazing. I love, love, love reading those books to my kids, but I just kind of, I had seen that he had written this graphic novel. I really don't know much about what it's about, um, but it looks like he's like blasting off out of cereal and it just looked like so much fun. So I went ahead and grabbed it because why the heck not? All right. And now we're down to my last three. Um, I have Rooftoppers by Katherine Rundell. Um, this one was another one that was like a cover buy for me. Um, it's about a mother or a mother. It's about an orphan who runs away to try to find her mother, I think in France maybe. And she ends up meeting rooftoppers and they're just kind of people who live on the rooftops maybe of buildings in Paris. I don't really know. Um, it says something right here about a boy who walks tight ropes and lives in the sky. I don't know, um, but that cover just looked really pretty. So I grabbed it. I don't really know what it's about. Um, and then I have The Emperor's Ostrich by Julie Berry. This is another one that I've heard multiple people recommend for middle grade March. Um, and I really have no idea what this one is about either. It says a missing cow, a disappeared emperor, and one magical journey. I don't know, um, but it sounded good. And then the last one I have is Love, Sugar, Magic, A Dash of Trouble. This is the first book in a series. I know that. And it is about a Hispanic or Latino um, girl who it says like her aunt, her mother, her aunt, and four, four older sisters are brujas, which are witches um, in Mexican ancestry. And it's about baking maybe. Um, I don't know. But I've heard multiple people once again say that this one is great as well. Um, so yeah, those are all of the books that I ordered. A lot of middle grade because I need to read more middle grade. I read so much middle grade, you guys. Um, but I was in the mood for middle grade. And so this is, like I said, primarily a middle grade haul. But anyway, I have no idea if Book Outlet is still holding their sale, but my guess is they probably are because they know people want books right now. So I would go check them out. I will leave the link to their website down below. And other than that, if you have read any of these, I would love to hear your opinions about them. Um, yeah, just all, all the things. If you've read any of them or if any of them um, spark your interest, let me know. But yeah, other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you stick around and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.